Do you know that the apps you uninstall can still access your data? To see which apps have access to your data, go to the settings, open Google services, settings for Google apps, then tap on connected apps. Here you can see the list of apps that have access to your data. If you want, you can revoke the access by disconnecting the apps you no longer use. So do this after uninstalling any app to keep your data private. There must have been times when you wanted to access an app quickly but couldn't because you were unable to unlock your phone quickly. For example, if you're at your home then you probably don't want to enter the password every time you want to use your phone. That's when this Android feature comes in handy which allows you to access your phone quickly. To set it up, go to settings and search for the smart lock option. Here, you can add any trusted location like your home or office. When your phone is in those places, you don't have to enter the pin to unlock your phone. As well as disabling the lock screen when you're at a trusted location, you can also disable the screen when your phone's Bluetooth is connected to a trusted device such as your headset or a smartwatch. And also, you can set on-body detection, but this could potentially allow others to access your unlocked phone. If you don't want to share your email address with everyone and get rid of spam emails, then this Telegram bot is for you. It provides disposable email addresses which you can use to receive confirmation or activation emails to complete your process. You'll be able to see the email sent to this email address here in the chat. 10 minutes after using the email to sign up on platforms, it will be deleted. It's a pretty handy Telegram bot to be honest. With this next Android hidden feature, you can change your phone's UI to completely look like a tablet's UI and use the apps on your phone in tablet mode. To turn your phone into a tablet, head over to the developer options, scroll down and find the minimum width in the drawing section. This minimum width varies from phone to phone. For me, it's 384 as you can see. You just tap on it and increase it to either 612 or 712. You can always get back to the regular UI by typing in the default value. So remember the default value and replace it with a big number. For instance, set it to 612. As soon as you hit OK, the UI would be changed. The screen would try to accommodate as much info as it can. The font gets smaller and even most of the apps would follow the tablet mode like this. If you find your phone lagging in tablet mode, then set Windows animation, transition animation and animated duration scale to 0.5x and if the font is too small to read, then increase the font size in display settings. It's an easy and fun way to use your phone as a tablet. So try it and let me know what you think. If you use multiple launchers on your phone, then this Android trick is for you that lets you switch between your launchers faster with just a single tap. To switch your launchers, you generally have to go into the settings, apps and default apps and then choose the launcher. Instead of all this, just install this app called Quick Launcher Tile and add the toggle to your notification panel. Now whenever you want to switch your launcher, you can just tap on it and choose the launcher quickly. So those are some unknown Android tricks and hidden features to try in 2023. I hope you found the video informative. Leave a like and comment appreciating the video if you did. And subscribe to the channel for more Android tricks videos. Thanks for watching.